This video chart presentation is Sologenics Inc. brought to you by AlbanyStocks.com. Sologenics is a bulletin board listed company trading under ticker SNGX. This hit the watch list this week as a technical stock to watch. See it had a nice uptrend starting. Just took off yesterday. Huge move. Closed up 18.6%. 7.1 million shares traded. Obviously just a huge spike in volume. Chart of course sitting very bullish right now. Has some strong momentum behind it. Just going to take a look at what to look for from here. Now we're going to see these indicators really starting to run with the climates put together in a strong move yesterday. See the bullish cross happen beforehand right through here. Given hints early on for potential climb. Still plenty of room for this MACD to continue to make a move and try and drive a little bit higher. Very similar look with PPO. ADX is developing a stronger trend, moving out of a trading pattern. You can see the MFI was making higher lows. Each one of these indicators was trending upward before this really exploded. So a very nice look. There was hints coming that this may make a stronger move as it did. Accumulation distribution, very similar. Nice uptrend to it. You can see even the shake and money flow showing any selling pressure was subsiding. Now holding well in the green, buying pressures overcoming selling pressure. Per Lambert's definition, that break of 100 was the buy point based on the CCI. Full still, higher lows. More importantly, broke that trend line. When it was right in this area a few days ago and it was starting to make that climb a little bit, it was given every hint that it might try and put together a small explosion. And of course, that's indeed what did happen. In a longer term picture, Trix just now make its bullish cross, looking like it's going to trend back towards zero. That's good for the long term component of the chart. And of course, the RSIs, much like everything else, strong uptrend preceding, and then came the big move. Most important thing to get out of it is beforehand trending upward, breaking through 50 really trying to go into bull mode right back in through here. Those are the kind of things that we try and pull up on charts to say it's time to watch this because it might take off. As far as the candles go, again, everything was kind of bullish with this. Making higher lows through here, of course, it broke that trend line, which isn't a great thing. But in the overall aspect of the chart, it set up a solid support level at 18 cents, a higher low considering this area. Then when it started pushing back through that 200-day moving average, again, there was some hints coming this might try and go bullish. Now, if it can hold up around through here, even on a consolidation, you'll see this 200-day eventually start to roll and turn. And at that point, you'd have both the 50 and the 200-day trending upward, which is one more indication of a long-term bullish chart. And what I see in this is there is always a potential of continuation today. Obviously, it's a lot of momentum behind it. It's pushed outside of the Bollinger Bands, but it's only been one day. A lot of times, you'll see two or three days where it'll hold outside those bollies before it wants to retrace. What I do is I try and identify support levels on any pullback. And now this, of course, will change based on if it continues to move, but that move from bottom to top, the Fibonacci's will help show you where support levels are going to come in, and you're going to see it. They're going to tie in pretty much. It's almost uncanny how it happens, where there is a support level from a static standpoint, right there around 23 cents. You can see the 24 cents, 38.2 percent retrace, and there's more support right there around 22 and a half cents. So this area of 22 to 23 cents should provide pretty good support, which happens to coincide with the 50% retrace. Of course, beyond that, it should pick up more support where it was breaking out right here around 21 and a half cents. But these first two levels are a couple places that I'd be looking. Of course, there was static resistance that it pushed through at 24. If it could hold that, that would be the perfect world sort of thing. It's the ultimate breakout point. It's the old highs. If it wants to pull back and hold that, consolidate through there, let the indicators reset a little bit, from a technical standpoint, that's kind of the perfect storm. It's exactly what it needs to do to maintain a very bullish look. But technically speaking, it is okay if it wants to pull all the way back down to here, still holding 50% of its climb off that bottom at 18 cents, and still maintaining a bullish look. Charts just can't go up forever. Everybody knows that. At some points, they're going to have to consolidate and allow some reset, take a breather, so to speak, allow people to take some profits. But this SNGX chart was a very good call for a stock to watch as things were aligning very nicely for a potential move. Of course, it happened, and now this is what I'd look for in any sort of retrace. If it continued from this point forward, of course, you have to come back, reconfigure the Fibonacci's, but no matter what, this 24-cent mark was a definite resistance level and a breakout point. I'd always have my eye on how it performs if it pulls back to that level. So I'm going to keep this on radar, see how it performs the rest of the week, and we'll go from there. As always, merely my interpretation of the SNGX chart. I am not a financial consultant and strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the AllPennyStocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. Do not base any investment decisions upon any material upon the website and or video chart. No person employed by AllPennyStocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.